This is definitely a bit of a different look than most Halo maps we've seen in the past. It's, it's reminding me a little bit, maybe just because it's got sort of an organic look outside, of uh, Backwash back from Halo 2. This with all the, the overgrowth and, and uh, trees and vines and such. But obviously we've got a big base in the middle of this too. So um, where, where should we, where are the, where are the combat points? Where should, where should we be looking to, to start a fight? Yeah, so um, a lot of times in various modes, there's going to be some control points uh, and some places where encounters tend to happen a lot. This being one of the areas where it's the, the wide open combat area on the open side that kind of looks out. Oh, cool. Um, a lot of the map flows in towards the center. So you have a route that goes up here towards the center three-story structure. This three-story structure is um, where a lot of interesting combat happens because you've got the top deck, which gives you some lines of sight down into the, the outer areas of the map. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of defend these locations, but again, with any defensible location, there's multiple routes to get in. So people can get in uh, from the base on the backside. They can use the lift in the center bottom, and they can also use the kind of ramp area that leads out into the open side. So there's, there's three areas that they can get in, and then there's some sneaky routes that people can come in with jetpack, or you can run in from the second level, which interconnects to all of the outer routes, and then there's okay. a ramp that goes straight up. This looks like it could be really fun for either King of the Hill or Oddball, too, if everything sort of funnels to that center, but it's three stories. Absolutely. It also works out really well for Regicide, um, which is one of our free-for-all modes where the player in lead is king. So here's the uh, other base, which, again, there's routes on all of the outer edges, which give you some interesting cover from people that are defending that, that top mid, um, as well as some long lines of sight as people are kind of running in. Um, and that's, there's equivalence on both sides, but you know, they're, they're definitely different, different flow and different layout to give you some, some variety and spice and right. different usable areas. Now, it's, it, there's not a whole bunch of open space here. There's a lot of cover points with the trees and such. So Probably not a good map for sniper rifles or long-range weapons? Uh, we still do provide some fairly long strips uh, that you can fire on people almost clear from one side to the other, but they're very controlled areas where that happens. But then you also have some certain high ground areas that still give you plenty of long strips that you can kind of control. So there are okay. choice locations in the map that do give you you know, some fairly significant uh, distance to cover with, with sniper weapons and long range weapons, DMR, BR. So I wouldn't say that it's not uh, best suited to those uh, weapon types. There are opportunities to use them, but um, you'll definitely find more often some, some close and mid-range uh, combat opportunities. Now, are there, any, are there any armor abilities that might be well suited to this level, or is that just more um, depending on which game type you're in? Uh, we, we did a lot of work to make sure that, that each of our maps uh, allowed the armor abilities to function in their own unique ways and that there's areas that kind of support those. So uh, Jetpack will give you the ability to kind of cover some ground and get into the multiple, uh, multiple stories of the structure, but it's not going to be the most advantageous thing to right. use. Like you've got Promethean Vision, which is going to give you some opportunities to catch people coming around corners and, and, and get the drop on them. Uh, Thruster Pack is going to give you some uh, really nice ways of closing distance. Um, also, you know, the, the shield will give you some opportunities to kind of defend your location and, and hole up in a certain area. Well, what armor abilities do you like to, to take when, you're, when you find out that you're going to be playing this level? Um, for the most part, I tend to use Thruster Pack because it gives you lots of opportunities to, uh, whenever you can see somebody on your radar or you're running towards a, a location where you know that they're at, um, you can thrust in, uh, to close the distance, get melees off so you can kind of engage somebody uh, with a BR, DMR, light rifle, carbine, and then thrust in to kind of do a, a finisher with, with melee, or even just to kind of catch up with people you can, you can uh, thrust in to get there. I also like Promethean Vision just because it gives you an opportunity to catch people coming around corners and get the first shot off. Now where does, where does a design, how does a map like this start life? Do you start with that three-story structure and build it out? Where does, it, where does the idea come from and, and, uh, and how has this map evolved over the course of development of Halo 4? Yeah, so um, the map has kind of uh, stuck to 
the original design layout, which is basically that you've got the, the outer pads and then the central structure. Uh, we know up front that we want to try and hit a certain quantity of, of close quarters maps, a certain quantity of small scale, mid scale, and large scale maps. Mm -hmm. So we kind of have general concepts about what we would do with each of those maps, and then we make sure that they function with each other so that we're give, giving players enough variety. Okay. So uh, something like this was always meant to be a, a small scale um, map to fit in with the other styles that we have, but it's probably best that we look at some of the other levels to see how this compares before actually going into some of the details of, of uh, why the layout choices are there. Are there any other any Easter eggs or, or hidden nuggets that you guys have buried in, in here anymore? Um, yeah, so from a fictional standpoint, this bottom area has this little lab that has these creatures kind of... Oh, that are what, what are those? <laughs> Well, those are mysterious creatures that are native to this planet, so uh, we're not talking about the specific details mm. of what they are, but yeah, it's just something that the, the science team uh, had captured and are studying. I noticed you, you uh, went by them quickly. We didn't take too good a look there. <laughs> Although actually, oh, that's, that's a cool effect. And uh, one other thing right here, it looks like, can we go flying off the edge to our death there if, if you yeah. take the wrong step in battle? Absolutely, suicide. Um, won't do it now, but definitely uh, you will kill yourself if you run and jump off of the edge.